Hey guys, welcome back to Appel PC, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up uh, a various different logs on your Discord server using Carlbot. Now I've talked about Carlbot in my previous videos uh, using Carlbot to set up a server using this server template. Um, this server template will be linked in the description, and also uh, there's another video explaining how to set up Twitch and YouTube announcements using Carlbot. Uh, this is useful so that if you have if you follow Twitch streamers or YouTubers, um, you basically get permissions. And then the other video explained kind of the basics on how to use Carlbot. And today I'm going to teach you how to do advanced logging using Carlbot. Um, on our server, uh, this is Content Bomb. This is our me and Quick Iguana Gaming server. His channel will be linked in the description down below. Uh, this is our server. Uh, it's a content based, uh, content creator based server. We have a lot of different things on this server and we invite a lot of people on our server. It's very popular. Um, make sure to check it out in the video description. But we also have the YouTube announcements for everybody and we also have Twitch announcements for anyone who has a Twitch. But Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a logs channel and how to set up the logs to automatically display different things. Now, I'm only going to click on the default log for privacy reasons so that I don't show you all the logs, but I'm going to show you what they do. Um, so, we're going to switch over to our YouTube template and we're going to want to set a few things up. So, we're going to want to, one, create a category. Now, I like calling this category putting a piece of paper uh, this kind of says it's kind of a log and this will be our logs category we're gonna make it a private category because we only want our moderators and our admins to see it and then we're gonna hit create because we don't want our members to be able to see hey that is all that's all the stuff that's going down behind the scenes and what's going on we don't want them to see that we don't want to have them have that permission to see it so I'm going to show you on Carl's website. So you're going to want to go over to uh, carl.gg and then you're going to want to click manage, select your server, and we're going to want to scroll all the way down to moderate or logging. You want to go to logging. Now logging, you're going to want uh, to create different logs for different things. I'm going to show you how to set up every log here. Um, and I like usually checking everything um, for logs on my servers because I like that ability to see, hey, this stuff has changed um, and this stuff is doing stuff. So I like to check everything, make sure everything's checked and hit confirm at the bottom and it'll apply the settings. So we're gonna wanna create a default log channel, a member log, a server log, a voice log, a message, and a join lead log. And then um, you can set up ignored channels. Uh, this is useful if you have like your admins chats and your your bot commands. Um, you don't want your bot commands for your different um, stuff to be logged. Basically, uh, I don't. I personally don't worry about it. Um, I like logging everything because it's useful. So I don't worry about ignore channels, but you can do that. Um, now I'm going to show you how to add categories. So we're going to switch back over to Discord. So under logs, we're going to create channels. And we're going to I'm going to use the piece of paper again. And we're going to want a default log. And then we're going to hit create. As you can see, it did that. Now we're gonna hit clone because this is gonna make it your life so much easier with creating a bunch of different things. So then we're gonna select member. And then same thing again, we're gonna clone. Oops, not create, sorry. Uh, we're gonna hit clone. And then server. Clone again. We're going to do voice, clone, and finally, er, nope, not finally, we have message log, and then last one, 
our join leave log. Oops, I hate when it does that. Leave log, there we go, create channel. So now we have all the different logs. You guys can pick uh, which logs you wanna use on your server, um, but I'm gonna choose to use all of them. Uh, as you can see though, um, because I haven't refreshed the page, Carlbot does not recognize that, hey, there's new channels. So you're gonna wanna, one, close it, and re-go to their website and re back to manage and then back down to logging and as you can see all of our log channels now show up so now we're going to select the different uh, channels for the different uh, logs so we have every single log there boom and that's it that's how you set up logging uh, you can obviously go into here um, a uh, mod logs channel is also important. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you can send reports to the different logs. Um, I'm going to send our moderation reports to our default log. And we're going to click save on that. So now we need to set up a moderation log. So again, uh, this is for any type of moderating that goes down. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to add, a, we're going to clone another log and we're going to call this moderation log. And we're also going to want to set up a auto mod log for our Carlbot to put things to. So I like putting the bot emoji at this because that means it's a um, it's a bot um, thing. It's a bot related um, log. So as you can see, auto mod log there, and as you can see, look at it creates these custom embeds that are really cool that show you, hey, uh, this was created. Uh, Everyone cannot read and connect, and it shows you the different permissions, basically. So, we're going to switch back over to here. Uh, again, as you can see, we don't have the moderation channel, so we're going to refresh the page and see if that works. And if that doesn't work, see, that time it worked. And if that didn't work, you can reload the page again. So now we have our moderation log, and we're going to send reports to our default log. And then you're going to want to go to our auto mod. And then you're going to want to set the log actions to your auto mod log. Now we're going to hit save. And that will basically, if uh, Carlbot does anything that is like a moderation role, it will automatically send that log to your Discord. And that's the basics of how to set up advanced logging using Carlbot on the server. Um, this server template will be down below in the description. It will have everything uh, you see here. And um, I'm gonna have the different, it'll have all the different channels. It'll have the different permissions for the logs. All you have to do is go through and set up your Carlbot to work the way it works. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out all the links in the description below. Subscribe and like on the video. And have a good day.